Hello YouTube, this is Darkcom6383, back with another Transformers review. Today we're going to take a look at the Transformers Power of the Primes Deluxe Class Dinobot Slug, also known as Slag in the original G1 cartoon. Similar to the various releases of Slug throughout the years, Hasbro is not able to get the name Slag for various reasons, which I'll not mention, but it's pretty much expected why the name was changed. Anyways, we're going to take a look at the card first. The card is pretty cool. It has a really nice look at his Triceratops mode, along with the toy version right there. On the side it shows his combined mode, which I forgot the name of this particular mode on the top of my head. And shows that it does transform in 12 steps and has a bio on the back. We're going to take a look at his accessories first. First, he comes with this blaster, which is pretty cool, although it is really annoying that not all the Dinobots have all their weapons, since in the original G1 toy line, Every Dinobot had a gun and a sword, but this time it's just a single gun. Forgot to bring something here. The other piece that it includes is the component that becomes the hand or foot, depending on which way you put it. And it also has a little slot, once again similar to Dreadwing, that you can place a either a Titan Master or a Prime Master inside. I'm going to take that off to the side. And he also includes the card as normal. My version of the card is Megatronus Slug, which I think is pretty cool that I actually got it under Megatronus there. So now we're going to take a look at the figure itself. Articulation-wise, the shoulders are on ball joints, although it's a little bit restricted due to the head, but not by a whole lot. He does have swivels of the elbows, ratchets at the elbows, which are really nice. Hand can pivot due to transformation a bit. He has... 360 waist articulation, which is really nice since we have a lot of figures that do not have waist articulation. He has ball jointed hips, swivels of the thighs, single joints at the knees, and nothing else in terms of articulation there. As a comparison, which I do have the G1 release, here he is next to the G1 slug, which, or slag should I say here, which is pretty cool since it's very reminiscent of the design. But one thing that is glaring is that since the G1 version of mine does come with the sword, it is a bit annoying that this version did not come with it. Anyways, we'll move on to the transformation, which is very reminiscent of the G1 design. And we'll now look at his Triceratops mode after it's done. Now we have Slug in his Triceratops mode. I think this is really awesome since it's got a lot of techno-organic kind of design, very similar to the original G1 design and also the original G1 toy. It does have a little bit more frustrating parts because these leg pieces do not like to actually plug in properly and you do need to slide the pieces just a little bit in order to actually get into place, but it's not the worst I've seen. Articulation in this mode, his shoulders are maintained along with the new leg step form that are hidden inside the legs in robot mode. He does have this other joint which does kind of move, but it kind of breaks up the overall design, but I guess it does work if you want to kind of put him in a kicking pose or something. But these are actually something that are on the side of his robot mode, which didn't really do anything. He does maintain the same swivels and the same ratchets there, so that's really cool. His mouth can open and close, but it's a little bit tricky to get in, but it's not as bad as it looks, so that's pretty cool that you do have the ability to do so. If you want to, you can place the gun inside, so it makes it look like he's got a gun sticking out. I don't think that's really weird. One thing to note is that the original G1 toy had the horns able to move, but unfortunately these are fixed into place. You're not able to move them at all. As a comparison, here is the new slug next to G1 slag, which unfortunately he's definitely on the small side compared to his original G1 release, which is unfortunate since I really do like the design of Slag slash Slug here. But other than that, it's pretty much reminiscent of the design. You can take this piece and place it on the back here if you wish to. It doesn't really matter which way you put it, but I just like to put it this way away from 
the body. So you do have the ability to attach it as well. I'm actually going to skip the limb transformation until we get all the Dinobots, but you pretty much get the idea, once again, that these can turn into the limbs if you wish to. So, that pretty much covers Slug in his beast mode. In conclusion, this is definitely not a perfect figure by any means, but it's definitely faithful to the character, and it's a pretty good representation in the Generations format. For God, you can take the piece and you can plug it in the front, although in my opinion it just doesn't look right, it just makes it look overly a little too bulky to me, so I don't really care to do that, but it is an option if you wish to. It's still nice to see Generations updates to the Dinobots after all these years, especially since we had so many close calls in just various toy lines with the Dinobots, and we never went fully into making all representation of Dinobots outside of Age of Extinction, which didn't look right because of the way that they were designed. So, I definitely recommend picking this up, especially if you're a fan of the Dinobots, and I cannot wait to finish my team of the Dinobots in general. I got this one, if I remember correctly, at Toys R Us, along with Swoop, which we'll look at next. But overall, this is really nice that I finally was able to get a hold of a new version of Slug, and the best bet is to probably just check Toys R Us, Walmart, Target, since they are trickling to stores, although not really too fast at the moment. Anyways, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and check out Hero Club and Hero Taku. Also check out Twitter, Darkon633, and check me on Instagram under Darkon633 as well. Please check the little bell at the bottom of the screen, and receive my content go up as soon as possible. And don't forget to check down the other channels. I'll be back with more Transformers reviews, but for now, I'll be seeing you later, YouTube. Bye. <music>